Hey you guys, welcome. I'm gonna be checking out the new update this week. This is the Marvelous Morgans update in Star Stable. An old friend gets a brand new look. Meet the Marvelous New Morgan. Yes, this is the third time the Morgan has been released. They released them as a 1.5 that have now been removed from the game. There's a Gen 2 and now this is the brand new Gen 3 generation of the Morgan. It says it's no surprise that the Morgan is also a hit among writers in Jorvik First imported for writing schools, the Morgan's charm and cleverness make it a popular breed for writers of all abilities and disciplines. So what's the new breed? The updated Morgan horse. Where can I get it? One horse is available in Fort Pinta. The rest can be found in Firgrove. So that is exactly where we are right now in Firgrove. And whenever you come over here to the horse sale stables, you can see over here on the left, three of the Morgans all lined up. And when you click on them, they're so cute. You guys, they're so cute. So here are all the colors that you can pick from. Which one is your guys' favorite color? That's what I wanna know. There's this beautiful like charcoaly gray color. Oh, so pretty. Gorgeous, look at that like pumpkin color hair. Beautiful bay. This one is so interesting as a Morgan color. And same thing with this one. So these horses are deceivingly adorable. At first when I saw them in like Star Stables promos, they kind of look like just your average horse, but they are so cute when you see them in real life. They just don't translate in Star Stables promo pictures as cute as they are in the game. So here they all are. I already picked one up. This one right here. This is Tea Party. Look at how cute Tea Party is. Aww. And look at that, the horse actually has two different color eyes. Yes, such a sweetie, so adorable. Look at those two different color eyes. Just so, so, so cute. Also a side note as well, Star Stable has been discounting a lot of horses lately. So no rush in buying any horse. You may wanna wait until there are some sales going on because they have been running some really, really good discounts lately. And I've heard that there's gonna be a lot of horses on discount coming up too. So you may want to wait and hold off on purchasing one of these beautiful Morgans until they're on sale. Or if you just cannot resist them, well, add them to your stable. I am not here to judge. So the Morgans are 850 star coins. There is one in Fort Pinta that anyone is able to get, but to get the other color variations, you must reach level nine for those ones that are in fur growth. So here we are in Fort Pinta and it looks like that gorgeous like charcoal with that silvery mane and tail is the one that is here available for anybody to purchase. You do not have to be level nine at all, if you would like this one. Now there is a color that is missing from this picture. That is this color right here. It says a new coat color for our brand new Morgan horse has arrived in Star Stable Horses app. In the app, you can raise your own horse from a full up to a level 10. And when your Morgan reaches level 10, you can transfer it to Star Stable online for 850 star coins. So this color is the app exclusive. So you start your horse off as a full, you raise it, you take care of it. And then several days later, then you can import it into the game. So how dreamy are those colors? They they are beautiful. Okay, so why am I not riding my Morgan? Well, that's because Horses of Jorvik is still going on. And this time they are highlighting three breeds, including the Lusitano that I'm on right now. Horses of Jorvik. If you haven't yet met Guillermo, let us introduce you. He represents the organization of Horses of Jorvik and comes to organize exclusive races. And this is just for a few breeds at a time. For his latest race, he put the Pasofino Andalusian and Lusitano in the spotlight. This race is temporarily located in the Silver Glade Riding Arena. It's exclusive to the horses mentioned and all their magical counterparts. If you try to race on any other type of horse, you will kindly be asked to leave and return with another, meaning one of these three breeds and of course their magical counterparts. So here we are outside of the Riding Arena. Here he is waiting to meet you and greet you right here. So I already got my Lusitano ready to go. Enjoy your ride. Finish the race. You get 20 Jorvik shillings and 500 horse XP. These are definitely worth doing daily to get that major boost in some horse XP, of course. So let me just quickly run through the race here. I'm surprised the Morgans are not included since it's a brand new horse that they just now added and updated. But I do love it whenever Star Stable highlights a bunch of previously released horses, especially much older breeds. I really 
really like seeing that because I like I like riding my older horses. I really do. I like spending time with them and seeing them in game and getting them all tacked up. So it was really nice to pull out my Lusitano. Does anyone remember Angel Walker? <laughs> I used to ride that one all the time, all the time. And she was a Lusitano horse. So she is a maxed out level 15, so I don't ride her anymore as much. Ooh, wouldn't that be amazing if Star Sable came up with things for you to do with your level 15 horses? You know, besides doing championships. I would really like that. I would like to see that because, you know, once they hit level 15, you still want to ride them. You put all that time into them. All right, so there we go. Finish that. Ride back over to him and collect that 500 horse XP. Perfect. All right, so we checked out Horses of Jorvik. So this will be here for four weeks of racing. Be sure to try it before the Wednesday update on March 8th. You also must be a star rider and own any of the horses mentioned of any generation and have unlocked Jorvik stables. All right, Story Snack. The Life Warden Sapling still needs tending to in the Forgotten Fields. You have to be a star rider and finish all the main story quests to take part in this. This is the last portion of the Story Snacks until the next main story quest. That is incredibly exciting because we're almost ready to hop through this new portal that has now appeared that we've been tending so gently to while taking care of this little tiny sapling. I can't wait to see this sapling turn into like a giant tree too, like whenever it actually starts really growing and we can actually see a noticeable difference. Okay, there it is right there. Hey you guys, hey Linda, let me water the sapling. Yes, the life warden has almost fully grown. We can hardly call it a sapling anymore. Take care of Jorvik's newest life warden. 50 player XP. Okay, a little sprinkling here and some fertilizer on the ground here. There we go. I can feel its magic growing stronger. Yeah, we're so close. I can't wait to go into Devil's Gap. We're coming, Vala Witch. Kind of scary, isn't it? Okay, all of these are amazing. I'm sure everyone is going to pick this one because I really want to go into Devil's Gap. I'm sure everyone wants to go into Devil's Gap, but I also want to see the Vala Witch too. I don't think it's scary. I think it's fun. So bring it on, Devil's Gap. The Wild Weave will soon heal and we can walk its ways. Prepare yourself, Soul Riders. Wild Weave, I wonder what kind of place it'll be. Okay, here we go. Is it going to grow? Oh, it's growing. It's growing. Come on, release your magic. What are you doing to that portal? Okay, we've seen it almost reach all the way around. Is that it? Is that complete? Is that considered complete? I don't know, it still has that tiny little gap here. I hope that's considered complete. All right, let's go check. So let's race over to Fort Maria and yay, look, I got tea party out. Hop on down, be right back. You stay right here, keep being adorable. All right, we're in. Let's go down and check on that portal. I mean, I know the quest hasn't been added yet, but still, I like to see just how much the portal has been changed. Look at the portal now. Are these torches going? I don't remember if they were. That looks like a complete portal to me. Oh, I cannot wait to see the quest that goes with this. This is so exciting. Okay, but it's going to take us into the portal really, really soon here. Okay, so now that we've done that and taken care of the sapling for the last time, let's get cozy. We love layers. This super soft look is easy to mix and match in the most gorgeous new colors. Find it at the shops at the Silver Glade Vineyard. You must have reached player nine to wear this set. So there's some new clothing that has been added. So whenever you click into the store, you can see a new tack set has been added. The Scandinavian Sensibilities saddle. The pattern on the saddle is inspired by twisted thorns from the medieval era. You can see it here on my adorable little horse. There's the matching bridle as part of it too. Okay, so even though it's a different color, it's this really pretty gray color. Oh, look at that. Oh, so good. Oh, look at my character. I'm just floating sunglasses now, which is perfect. Let's go to the clothing tab and now you can see all of these. Yes, Star Sable, we love basics. Yes, keep bringing us the basics, please. These are all still part of the Scandinavian sensibility set. This is the wool trouser. We've got a really nice skirt that you can't see because of my dress. Okay, everyone's in love with this black turtleneck, right? More black clothing, looks so good gray knit sweater and this brown knit sweater and then a beanie to go along and matching gloves. This is so good. This is so nice. If only we could just have more wardrobe space, which I know they're working on. I'm just waiting. I'm I'm waiting for it. Can't wait to buy all these clothing pieces, but I'm waiting for the new wardrobe space. They also posted this picture. I love this picture. So you can really see a variety of how these clothing have now all been styled up really pretty on that new Morgan horse. All right, what's coming next week? Get ready for championships galore. 
Introducing JERC, which stands for Jorvik Elite Racing Committee. It's a brand new organization in charge of hosting and sponsoring all championships across Jorvik. They ensure quality and best practices in equestrian racing. Meet Agnes. She is the president of the JERC Committee and can be found in Moreland, but she's not added into the game just yet. We gotta wait until Wednesday's update. If you visit her daily, she will have a daily quest for you to complete one championship. This will give a big boost to both your horse XP and your big shillings. So that will be quite interesting to see about that and see exactly how big of a boost will you get in XP and in Yorvik shillings for doing the championships. So that's all happening next week. Thank you for hanging out with me while I checked out the update for this week. Let me know your thoughts on the new Morgans. They're so cute. They are adorable. They are dreamy. Very happy to see them in game, you know, for the third time <laughs> since this is their newest update into being a Gen 3 horse. I want to wish you a happy early Valentine's Valentine's Day. Keep being horse crazy and I'll see you in my next video. Bye you guys. Thank you for all the love and support.